Hi everyone, happy Friday. So I am wrapping up my new release books that I was supposed to do videos on a few weeks ago and as y'all know, didn't happen. So we are going to finish up with this new release. Um, this is one of, one of Lulu Mayo's most recent releases. Um, this is from March 16th. It is A Million Cute Animals, Adorable Animals to Color. I am a huge, huge fan of Lulu Mayo's art. Um, I haven't collected all her books, but I've collected quite a few. Um, they are a little difficult for me to color in because they are double-sided, so I'm, but as I continue to in, get more into watercolors, I'm really hoping um, that will allow me to feel more confident about coloring in her books. But um, this is, like I said, one of her newer release, newest releases. She also has a million cute llamas that is out, and I will put a link to that in the description. I just put that one on my wish list because I was already buying so many new releases, and I was like, okay, I gotta pick one, and this was the one I picked. Um, so anyway, this is not Amazon printed. This is printed by Lark Publishing. Her books are smaller books, if you take into account a regular sized book like this one by Color Questopia. This is the size difference, if you just, let's say it cuts off right there at the bottom. They are definitely um, shorter and shorter in both ways, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, just know that if you're not familiar with Lulu Mayo's books. This is how all her books are published, or at least all the ones that I've known of that are by Lark Publishing. So, um, this is how most of her books are published that I know of, so just be aware of that. That's the front. It's got like a nice little kind of shiny gold, not shiny gold, but like metallic gold kind of look to it. There's the back. The title page is colorable, as you can see. Pretty much all the pages in this book are colorable. And I believe, like, I've counted these multiple times. I believe there's, like, if you count these pages, too, it's like 60-something pages. So you get quite a few um, pages for your for your purchase. Oh my gosh, y'all. Just, oh my gosh, this right here, like, <laughs> I've also been really, I've talked about my weird attraction towards, not attraction, ew, that sounds so weird, um, my, where I've been drawn more towards, like, reptiles and dinosaurs and stuff like that when I color. I've also been drawn more towards, like, cacti and succulents and things like that. Um, I just, those are really appealing to me right now, um, to color. And so this is like hitting all my buttons here because you got you got cute animals you got the cats in here it's not just the cats you got the birds and the rabbits and the pandas and the i think that's and the llama. see you even got a llama in here so you're just hitting all the buttons here oh yeah i might color this one front to back it sure feels like i want to do that so they are double-sided as you can see Really nice um, medium to dark line art, so it's not like a real light gray or anything like that. I would certainly test um, mediums in this book. The paper is a fairly thick paper. Oh my goodness, this is this is a page, y'all. So many things to unpack. Look at the little bear in the sweater. Oh my gosh, I want to hug him. I would be mauled, and I would die, but I would die hugging a bear. So, I mean, is that really, I guess if you gotta, gotta go, that's a way to go. Um, that's a fun way to go. Maybe not fun. Anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. Oh, fox with a bow tie. Oh my gosh. Love it. And you got the little anteater, I guess. So many different types of animals. Oh my gosh, y'all. This this book. I love her cat's book. And the cat's book will always be super special to me. But I gotta tell y'all, this book right here might be my favorite of hers. Look at the little squirrels. And him gnawing on the little peanut. 
Oh my gosh. And now we got the cats. Oh, I love cats, obviously, but I love all animals. So, so this, these books are tricky with mediums. I would, <laughs> this is why I tell you what I really do. Sometimes some of her books are available on Book Outlet for a discounted price, um, certain ones. So definitely check over there on occasion to see if any, uh, not her newest releases, obviously. Oh, these are so cute. Um, but some of her books are available on Book Outlet for a discounted price. What I would do, what I do is I would buy another copy of one of the books and I would use that as my test book. Because for me, oh, Oh my gosh. Look at them offering all those gifts. It must be his birthday. It must be Little Mushroom Head's birthday. I don't know what he is, so we're just going to call him Mushroom Head. Too cute. Oh, that would have been perfect for Foxy February, y'all. Both of these would have been perfect. I'm dancing. So cool. What is going on with that bird? Oh, okay, the lines. Boy, he's got, look at them fancy little uh, fluffy hair. It's almost like a mohawk. That is super cool. Um, look, my channel is not going to be just your slow basic flip throughs. I like, I'd like to do those in the future and put them on like Amazon and stuff, but it's just not going to happen. It's just not who I am. Little oh, chip, my little cheeks. Oh my gosh! And those flowers. You probably rather have the peanut than the flowers, though. Let's be real. You off me flowers or food? I would rather have food. That's just me. There's Mushroom Head, who's snoozing while he's reading. And the cat's got the little cookie. So cute, y'all. Anyway, I would use the extra copy book as my tester. Obviously, alcohol markers are going to bleed through. Um, if it is a really juicy gel pen, it will bleed through. If it is a really, like, I don't know if Derwent Ink Tense works on these because of the ink and how saturated they are. They may bleed through. I can't quite remember. So, some watercolors might bleed through. I mean, I would just... Unfortunately, you don't get any test pages in her books. <laughs> I could not eat that burger. It's just too cute a burger. <laughs> Little mushroom head and his artwork. I guess is that abstract, I guess, technically? I don't know. They all seem pretty judgy. That one is really judgy. He's like, I'm not even looking at this picture. I'm not making eye contact with him because if I make eye contact with him, I'm going to have to be real with him. So, some of them seem to approve. Some of them not so much. Everybody's got an opinion when it comes to art. So, I mean, that's no big surprise. Oh, little bunnies. So, yeah, I would be colored pencil heavy pressure could have an impact on the other pages behind it. So, look at him, little beaver with his gift. He looks so happy. So, I, that's what I would do, and that's what I do, um, just because these are adorable pages, and I really don't want to wreck the page behind it if I don't have to. So, I don't know 100% what all works in these books, because all I've used is colored pencils, except for the book that I used marker in, because I knew I had a backup. Um, fancy with her little hat. Um, but, yeah. I would definitely test, if you can, mediums. Um, I do know the, the Black Widow pencils I've used in here, and they worked really well. I have used gel pen in here, and if it's, like I said, not a super saturated gel pen, um, they are fine. You just got to test. These are definitely books you got to test with. Oh my gosh, just, I love everything about that picture. Just the fanciness, and the stars, and the hat, and the typewriter. It's just, it's adorable. 
I love it. Oh, you got the little owls there too. And the little foxes. Oh, so cute. It's just all. Oh, I love it. I love it. This may be my favorite book of hers. It's got the cats in it, but it's got everything else I love as well. So this may be my favorite book of hers. And I just bought those new Brett Ferner pencils, so might be a good time to test those in here. I do want to try some watercolors. I think just basic watercolors or like gelatos and stuff that don't leave a lot of pigment might be the way to go. Oh, they're taking a nap together. That one wants to be in his lap too, but they, this one's pretty chonky. They're both kind of chonky, so it would they're not going to fit. What is that? Does that rabbit just given up on life? He's just laying there like, like that's it. You know, I've had a lot of days like that the past two weeks where I feel like I could have just laid on the floor and just stared off in space and been like, yep, that's it. I'm done for the day. <laughs> that's exactly what that feels like. And then this gorgeous picture where I would have to figure out how to do a nighttime background without it bleeding. So yeah, I'm super stoked about this one. I think out of all her books, and, and I'm saying this even with the cat's one, and y'all know how much I love, let's put aside the cat's book. Let's put aside the cat's book because that's its own special category. This is absolutely my favorite book she has put out so far. I love it. I love all the different animals in here. Um, so yes, we we are done. I, I have... <laughs> bragged I think enough on this but hopefully you guys enjoy enjoy these flip throughs I know like I said they're not just quiet flip throughs no talk or whatever and some people that's just not their thing but there's plenty of other channels that do those types of flip throughs and you guys seem to enjoy my commentary on these so um I will continue to do so because that's just who I am as a person so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy Tomorrow on Saturday, I don't know if it's going to be a color and chat or a live stream yet. I'm actually recording this ahead of time. So hopefully I'll be able to make an announcement when this recording hits. And that way you guys know. So hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.